100 must know mess search back to ace your NCLEX exam. 100 quick next generation NCLEX medical surgical facts to pass your next nursing exam. Today we're going to tackle 100 quick medical surgical facts that you should know before taking your NCLEX exam. I'll pause briefly after each fact, but remember, you can always hit pause if you need more time. Let's get NCLEX ready. 1. Signs of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is vascular sound or brewing over the abdominal aorta. 2. Hypercalcemia is an urgent concern in a client diagnosed with multiple myeloma. 3. An early sign of diabetic ketoacidosis is polyuria. 4. Cushing syndrome occurs as a result of an excessive production of cortisol by the adrenal cortex. 5. Night sweats, fever, and chills are signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. 6. Airborne precautions are required for a client diagnosed with active tuberculosis. 7. Fluid overload should be monitored in clients diagnosed with heart failure. 8. Vaginal bleeding after hysterectomy should be monitored for excessive bleeding. 9. The effective arm should be elevated after a mastectomy to prevent lymphedema. 10. Cramping, dizziness, and hypotension are side effects that can occur when the client is receiving hemodialysis treatment. 11. Abdominal palpation should be avoided with a client diagnosed with pheochromocytoma. 12. Oxytocin is a hormone that is released from the posterior pituitary. 13. Embolectomy is performed to remove an embolus, which is causing blood flow obstruction. 14. Tinnitus indicates systemic toxicity in a client prescribed with salicylic acid. 15. INR monitoring is done for patients on warfarin therapy to ensure that appropriate levels are being maintained to reduce clotting or bleeding risk. 16. Liver function tests should be performed to watch out for hepatotoxicity when a client is taking diazepam. 17. The healthcare staff should stand at the unaffected side of the client when providing ambulation assistance. 18. There is no cure for multiple sclerosis, which affects the central nervous system. 19. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the common drugs used to address musculoskeletal pain. 20. Atrial flutter has a sawtooth pattern, also known as flutter waves. When a patient is experiencing palpitation and shortness of breath, atrial flutter would be an expected finding. 21. Cholecystectomy is the removal of the gallbladder. 22. Parkinson's disease does not have a cure, but it is a progressive neurological disorder. This is managed by medication therapy, which is levodopa combined with carbidopa. 23. Cloudy fluid that is being drained out of the abdomen after the exchange process during peritoneal dialysis is an early sign of peritonitis. 24. Pulselessness is a late sign of compartment syndrome. 25. Tachypnea, which is when the breathing is abnormally rapid and shallow, is an expected finding in a client that presents with pulmonary embolism. 26. Hyperkalemia can lead to cardiac arrhythmias. 27. The leading cause of peripheral artery disease is atherosclerosis. 28. A client with heart failure that presents with lung crackles and tachycardia is experiencing pulmonary edema. 29. Allopurinol is prescribed for a client with gout. 30. The first step is to stop the blood transfusion immediately when there are reports of chills and itchiness. 31. Compartment syndrome is a serious condition that occurs with a buildup of excessive pressure 
inside an enclosed muscle space in the body. 32. Fluid and electrolyte imbalances should be monitored when a client is receiving enemas. 33. The healthcare provider should remove the object that is penetrating the eye. 34. Arteriovenous fistula have a lower weight of infection than a catheter in a client receiving dialysis treatment. 35. Ulcerative colitis starts at the rectum and ascends towards the colon, causing an inflammation. 36. The major cause of death in an immunocompromised client is infection. 37. Cardiac catheterization is an invasive procedure in which the catheter is inserted into the chamber or vessel of the heart to examine the heart. 38. Hyperuricemia is noted in a client diagnosed with gout. 39. The ring-shaped rash sometimes does not appear on clients with Lyme disease. 40. The pineal gland is the smallest gland in the body, which is part of the endocrine system. 41. Macular degeneration and hypertensive retinopathy are examples of retinal disorders, which are eye disorders that affect the innermost eye layer. 42. Complications of hemodialysis treatments include hypotension, sepsis, shock, and disequilibrium syndrome. 43. Special precautions are not required after a bone scan. 44. Alendronate is prescribed to prevent or treat osteoporosis. 45. The largest gland in the body is the liver. 46. Blood pressure is regulated by the kidneys that secrete renin. 47. A decrease in blood pressure and increased pulse rate are signs of hemorrhage occurring. 48. Vasopressin antagonists may be prescribed to decrease overproduction of ADH. 49. Hepatic encephalopathy and ascites are potential complications of cirrhosis. 50. A client in contact with poison ivy should shower immediately and does not need to go to the emergency department. Great job! You just tackled the first 50 medical surgical quick facts. Want to make your study session even more powerful? Get a sneak peek of how my digital flashcards can boost your NCLEX prep by grabbing 160 free digital flashcards at qdnurses.com slash start. And while you're here, don't forget to smash that red subscribe button below so you never miss out on our latest strategies and tips. Now, let's dive into the next 50 medical surgical quick facts. 51. Diabetes insipidus occurs when there is too little ADH being produced by the posterior pituitary gland. 52. Cataracts and glaucoma are examples of intraocular disorders, which are eye disorders that occur inside the eyeball. 53. To prevent rapid gastric emptying, the client should lie down for 20 to 30 minutes after meals. 54. Informed consent should be obtained prior to any invasive procedure. 55. Addison's disease affects the adrenal glands, causing them to not produce enough cortisol and aldosterone. 56. Airway should be prioritized for a client with a laryngeal tumor. 57. Signs of decreased cardiac output are hypotension and dizziness. 58. Auditory center is regulated by the temporal lobe. 59. Glaucoma is a chronic condition that requires lifelong treatment. 60. Ultraviolet radiation from sunlight is a major risk factor of basal cell carcinoma. 61. Topical glucocorticoids does get absorbed into the systemic circulation. 62. Anticoagulation therapy is required for a lifetime in client with mechanical heart valves. 63. 
Signs of renal impairment should be monitored in a client diagnosed with systemic lupus erythematosus. 64. A client with chronic kidney disease should have a low phosphorus diet. 65. The client should be NPO prior to a lung biopsy. 66. Airborne precautions are not required for a client diagnosed with latent tuberculosis. 67. The most common symptom of detoxin toxicity is gastrointestinal upset. 68. Tonometry is a test to screen for glaucoma and to measure the effectiveness of glaucoma treatment. 69. Acute pyelonephritis can lead to acute kidney infection. 70. Skin is no longer intact in a stage 2 pressure injury due to the partial thickness skin loss of the dermis. 71. Morphine should be administered to a client experiencing a myocardial infarction for pain relief. 72. Fever is usually noted in the client diagnosed with pyelonephritis. 73. Hearing loss, pain and headaches is seen in mastoiditis, which is an infection of the mastoid bone. 74. Transverse fracture is when the bone is fractured perpendicular to its length, which is the straight line that occurs in the opposite direction of the bone. 75. The definitive diagnostic testing of cancer is biopsy. 76. Hyperpituitarism, also known as acromegaly occurs when there's a hypersecretion of growth hormones. 77. Accumulation of fluid in the pericardial sac is a condition known as cardiac tamponade that requires immediate medical attention. 78. Respiratory difficulty, dysphagia, and muscle weakness is noted in a client with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis which is an incurable degenerative disease. 79. An early sign of peritonitis is acute abdominal pain and abdominal distension. 80. Syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion occurs when there is an excess amount of ADH being produced. 81. Muscle weakness, hypotension, and bradycardia are signs and symptoms of hypermagnesemia. 82. Good pasture syndrome, which is a rare autoimmune disorder, can lead to glomerulonephritis and pulmonary hemorrhage. 83. The second cranial nerve is the optic nerve, which affects vision. 84. Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease that affects the digestive tract lining. 85. Hypopituitarism can be treated with hormone replacement therapy. 86. The lowest possible score on the Glasgow Gloma scale is 3. 87. Benign prostatic hypertrophy usually affects clients that are 50 years or older. 88. A mydriatic medication is given for pupil dilation. 89. To test cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve, the client should be instructed to close the eyes tightly, smile, and frown. 90. Myopia, astigmatism, and hyperopia are examples of refractive errors. 91. Addisonian's crisis is caused by acute adrenal insufficiency, which is life-threatening. 92. Hemianopsia is blindness in half of the visual field. 93. A client that is experiencing acute asthma episode should be placed in a high Fowler's position. 94. Antimyasthenic medication are administered for the treatment of myasthenia gravis, which is a lifelong therapy. 95. A dark blue or black colored stoma indicates circulatory issues after an ileostomy. 96. Meniere's disease can lead to vertigo and hearing loss. 97. Holter monitoring is a non-invasive test to identify dysrhythmias.
1998. The major complication of pulmonary contusion is acute respiratory distress syndrome. 99. Pain caused by duodenal ulcer is often alleviated after a meal. 100. Psoriasis presents as itchy and scaly patches noted on the skin. Awesome job of mastering all 100 quick medical surgical facts. Don't take your next medical surgical exam or the NCLEX until you're comfortable with these 100 facts. Need more medical surgical nursing practice? Check out my medical surgical video 100 True or False Medical Surgical Statement for Aspiring Nurses. Looking for more tips and tricks to make you an awesome nurse? Check out my next video where we dive into more essential nursing school hacks. Thanks for dropping in and see you in the next video.